factor. Now here at Wet n Wild, we're not really focusing on G-forces. Our experiments are primarily about the force of friction. We have our baseline for speed and time with our test subject wearing standard swimwear, just board shorts. Now for something a little more minimalistic. This is a high-tech suit. This is something you might see in the Olympics. It's made from a blend of nylon and spandex and contours the body into a more hydrodynamic shape. Tested in NASA's wind tunnels for fluid dynamics research, this suit is engineered for maximum speed. In theory, this fabric and its considerably tighter fit should reduce drag and increase David's top speed down the slide. High-tech swimwear in three, two, one, go! In the baseline test, David's baggy board shorts actually acted a bit like a parachute, capturing air and water during his descent. Compared to the drag when walking or running, a human body's drag in water is about 780 times greater. But this high-tech swimsuit streamlines the body so that the water molecules follow a less turbulent path. Oh! Compared to board shorts, this jammer can reduce the body's drag coefficient by more than 20%. This effectively reduces the amount of water and air molecules pushing against him. This is one reason when David shoots down the slide in this suit, he's able to increase his speed by 5%, hitting 42.6 miles per hour. That's almost two miles per hour faster than he slid in the baggy suit. 